Happy Monday morning. Thanks for clicking on your web weather update. Uh, I'm watching a little bit drier air that's moving toward the Sun Coast on this start of the work week, the first week of fall. Uh, we're going to see a little bit drier weather pattern as we head throughout the week, but things are going to remain very hot as we see continued easterly and southeasterly winds. Temperatures 91 to 93, running almost 5 degrees above average with around a 40% rain chance for us. And then turning things over toward Monday night, 74 to 76 degrees for a low temperature near the coast. St uh, showers and storms could begin as early as 2 or 3 p.m. A lot of those are going to be right near the water here with any storms that do fire inland pushing toward the coast right around drive time tonight. And then as we head towards 6, 7, 8 o'clock, could be some lingering showers left over. But again, most of us will not see rain for most of the day. A couple of downpours to dodge if you're headed out to the beach, but only a 40% chance of rain. Winds out of the east at 5 to 10 should continue to improve that red tide outlook. Good news there. Moderate levels still present though from Anna Maria down to Charlotte County and high levels uh, on most Sun Coast Bays. So we are still dealing with the algae just a little bit. And then scattered storms in the mix for that marine forecast winds out of the east and southeast right around 10 knots and those water temperatures nice and warm for us. Speaking of warm, temperatures are projected to be above average over the next seven days. Lows and highs both running uh, three to five degrees above normal and a very summer-like feel to the week coming up.